Hello Geometry students. In this screencast we're going to learn several different ways to prove that two lines are parallel. And to start we have to have a postulate. And the postulate says if two lines are cut by a transversal, so here's our transversal, here are two lines, and the corresponding angles are congruent. So if this angle is congruent to that one, or you could say that this angle is congruent to that one. All you need is one pair. If one pair of corresponding angles are congruent, then these lines are parallel. So based on this postulate, we can prove some theorems. And here's our first theorem. It says if two lines are cut by a transversal and alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Okay, so I'm going to call this line L. I'm going to call this line M and we'll call this angle A and angle B and let's call this angle C. Okay, so what are we given? We're given that angle A is congruent to angle B because they are alternate interior angles and they're congruent. What are we trying to prove? We're trying to prove that line L is parallel to line M. Okay, well, how about this? We'll write out our givens. Let me get my proof set up. So, given angle A is congruent to angle B, and that's given. Step two, we can say that angle A is congruent to angle C because they're vertical angles. So we can say vertical angles are congruent. Okay, so now I've got A congruent to B and A congruent to C. So by substitution, angle C is congruent to angle B. Angle C congruent angle B. That's substitution. Now if A equals C and C equals B, then by substitution, whoop, we already did substitution, right? So now we can say that line L is parallel to line M because C and B are corresponding angles. And that means if corresponding angles are congruent, then lines are parallel. Okay, our next theorem. If two lines are cut by a transversal and same side interior angles are supplementary, so if I can prove that angle A, or I'm given that angle A and angle B are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. I'm not going to write out the proof, but here's what we would do. I would put that angle A is supplementary to angle C, okay, because they form a straight angle. Angle C and angle B are alternate interior angles, so they're congruent. And by the theorem we just learned, if alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. In this theorem, we have two lines perpendicular to the same line, and that will let us say that the two lines are parallel. So if this is line L, and this is line M, and this is angle A, and this is angle B. Well, angle A and angle B are corresponding angles. And if they're both perpendicular, then both of them measure 90. So we have congruent corresponding angles. Therefore, by the postulate, line L is parallel to line M. OK, this theorem says that two lines parallel to a third line are parallel to each other. So let's draw a transversal. And I've got line L, and we'll make it parallel to M, like that. And here's line N, and line N is also parallel to line M. OK, so if line L is parallel to M, then angle A is congruent to angle B. And if N is parallel to M, then angle B is congruent to angle C. So all three of these angles are congruent, which means that angle A is a corresponding angle with angle C, which means line L 
is parallel to line n. So here's the conclusion and the summary of all we've talked about. There are five ways to show that lines are parallel. You can show that a pair of corresponding angles are congruent. You can show that a pair of alternate interior angles are congruent. You can show that a pair of same side interior angles are supplementary. You can show that both lines are perpendicular to a third line. Or you can show that both lines are parallel to a third line. Any one of these five ways is sufficient to prove that two lines are parallel to each other. So I suggest you copy these down and make sure you have them in your notes. So how do we use these? Well, let's look at this example. It says some information is given. Use this information to name the segments that must be parallel. If there are no such segments, write none. So let's say we're given that angle 6 is congruent to angle 7. Well, those look like alternate interior angles between this line and that line with that transversal. And if alternate interior angles are congruent, that means line BD must be parallel to line AE. OK, so what if in, we were told that angle 7 is supplementary to angle EFB? In other words, this angle plus this angle add up to 180. Well, these two angles are same side interior angles for this line and this line with this transversal. Therefore, FB has to be parallel to EC. So that's how you do those examples. Okay, good luck.